Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Ah, you gonna yo? Um, but what's it called? Um, let's get back. Let's get to the tea, you guys, because low key I'm busy. I have things to do today. Um, so the reason for this video again is because I am gonna be giving you guys the tea about how to sell foot pics. Um, as I have mentioned to all of you guys who have slid into my DMs, I do use uh Twitter as my primary account i do use it for solely selling well to tweak things out you know but at the same time for my foot pics um that is where business is booming i feel like twitter nobody's surprised who, who uses twitter nobody's surprised that it's twitter um uh, point is that like uh twitter has been nothing but great to me uh the the hashtags are a must I use hashtags, um, I use hashtags, hashtag foot fetish, hashtag foot pigs, hashtag foot pigs for sale, hashtag um, half white toes, red toes, blue toes, yellow toes, red toes, black toes, whatever toe color you have. Uh, I always have my feet, um, my, my feet done white because that's normally what my clientele likes. Uh, I have, if I have sold in shoes, I put foot pit, I mean shoes for sale. And if you're interested, slide into my DMs. At that point, only people who are interested are going to be in your DMs. I do tell them I have Converse, I have heels. My heels are uh, black with gold. My heels are pink. Uh, I have black vans. These are the vans that I'm using. If you wear them often, uh, if you wear them a lot, then the price goes higher. But if they're not really used, then at that point, they're not going to really want them, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, they, they like the, the ones that are sold, um, that are worn, you know, and basically in really, really bad condition. Most of my shoes that I'm about to throw out, I do sell them super quickly. So, you know, those bands that are ripped, those Converse that are ripped, and they're not even black anymore. They start getting faded and look kind of green, black, brown, whatever. Those are the ones that are really, really good to sell. I have never really had trouble selling them. I have sold in foot pick i mean i have foot, foot picks in person because they wanted them me to print them out i have sold um shoes in person because they're locals and they didn't want me to just like ship them out i have sold my new socks shoelaces just the shoelaces um converse converse are really really good i normally sell converse and um, most of the time, I do sell Vans. I don't really sell Nikes. I haven't had anybody ask me if I have Nikes or if I have any other kind of brand. It's just normally Converse for whatever reason, which I mean, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know? Um, I do put it on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Like, hey, just let you guys know I'm selling used whatever. And at that point, whoever's interested will be contacting you via DM. Don't think just because you don't have, you know, X amount of likes or a whole bunch of people blowing up your your DMs or what. I mean, your, your post does not mean that you are not going to get any offers. Most of the time, they do slip into your DMs. They do not like any of it. They don't want, most of them aren't even your friend, you know? Um they do slide into my dms they ask me like hey um how much are you selling your foot pits for and i sell them for 20 to 25 dollars and up depending what exactly they they want um if they want really weird stuff obviously it's gonna the weirder the more it is um i have had the i think the weirdest picture no the weirdest video I sold was me putting my foot in a pickle jar. Um, I sold that one for like 70 bucks, but I mean, whatever floats your boat, you know, I'm not here to judge, I'm here to sell. 
You know, if I don't have to be naked and being then I mean hashtag I'm winning, you know. Um I I have sold pictures of me dipping my, my foot in a pickle jar. I have sold pictures of me dip, putting my feet in mud, um, me putting my foot in spaghetti, me um, just doing a whole bunch of weird things. But honestly, it's not even that bad, to be honest with you. Um, I do not sell any nudes. I have had offers like, hey, do you sell any nudes, blah, 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 blah. And I always say, nope don't sell any nudes not interested which i mean whoever does sell nudes good for you you know i'm i'm proud of you you get your bag sis or bro whatever um i have had guys ask me if i know any guys who have really nice feet and unfortunately i have said no because i don't have any guy friends who are really interested in doing any of that but if you if you're a guy and you're interested please let me know so i could write you down and i could be like well these are my referrals do as you please you know um i do have i have had to sell full pics whatever once again in person and when i do have to do that in person i never go by myself so that's super clicky never go by yourself don't be afraid to ask somebody to go with you because at the end of the day you have to secure your own bag um i have had i do have a couple of my guy friends who are my go-to's who are locals as well who um they take me you know but i always make it clear hey just to let you know i'm not gonna be by myself this and that because you never know what other people's intentions are um and they're like most of the time they're like oh, okay cool this and that and if they tell me like oh no like i want you to be part of your soul blah 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 then i don't show up because i mean it's not worth my safety at the end of the day i am a mom and i'm not gonna do that you know but if you're confident enough to go by yourself that's i mean that's on you good on good for you you know i'm scared to get stalked or whatever you know and i feel like if they know i'm not if i'm not if i'm not by myself at that point they're like oh it's just business strictly business nothing else kind of thing blah 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 um i do again use i feel like twitter and hashtags are basically it um you literally just need to tweet out saying foot pics for sale the what's it called worn shoes for sale sell foot fetish um pink toes red toes yellow toes whatever toes you have um uh, tell them you know what um foot pics again 20 to 25 dollars the weirder it gets the more money it is uh if they want videos then just tell them like hey well if you want me to rub my feet with my own hand that's gonna be thirty dollars forty dollars um if you want me to put my foot in a pickle jar fifty dollars if you want me to i've i've had friends who do this for a living as well who have put their foot in like dog shit or whatever but they sell those up to 200 300 400 dollars which is good you know i've sold in converts up to 500 dollars you know depending on how much i wore them um i do use my personal venmo account i am a 1099 i do log in all my money because i knew for a fact that maybe somebody was going to tell the government or the irs and i ain't trying to step on the government's toes you know um i do what else do i do i do put it on my instagram because i mean why not you know this is my my girlfriends are always asking me like how do i do it this and that well this is basically how i do it um, it's not like you're going to blow up overnight. You do have to be super patient with it. Uh, you are going to have guys try to scam you saying like, Hey, you know, um, can I have a, can I have a sample or can I see your feet before I even purchase any? Bruh. If you're really serious, you're just going to buy it right there and then, you know, kind of thing, which they do. They normally really, really do. I've never had a problem with anybody not 
uh, wanting to buy foot pics. I have been scammed, unfortunately, where they were like, oh, well, I'm not going to pay an extra amount of money if you're not going to show me a foot pic or whatever. And I did fall into pressure. So at that point, I was like, okay, here's my foot feet, you know, like, where's my money? <laughs> I'm ghosted, <laughs> which I was so sad about, but when he was, um, I did learn, like, they are going to be just, like, um, going into the spot. They're not going to try to, like, hustle you or ask you any questions. It's going to be, like, how much for the few pics, this and that. I do have an OnlyFans. It is going to be solely for um, foot pics. Um, I am not going to post any nudes. Maybe, I mean, me and my underwear in my 20s. Maybe here and there because, I mean, I already do it on my Snapchat, you know. So, might as well just make some money out of it, you know. Um, but I'm not going to be doing anything crazy or any of that, you know. Um, I, what else? That's basically it, you guys. Basically it. Um, tips. Have clean feet. Have dirty feet. Quarantine feet. Um, you know, that when like the nail salons weren't open and nobody could get a hold of anybody's nail lady or whatever. Um, if you were one of those fortunate bitches that did have somebody lucky you, uh, that was not the case for me. And I was nervous. I was like, dude, what if like nobody wants to buy, uh, foot pics? You'd be surprised, dude. Um, there was a lot of people who wanted my my quarantine foot pics so i tweeted i tweeted it out i was just like quarantine foot pics you know for sale um i got a i got a good amount and then they would be like do you have calluses do you have this and that and if you do let them know if you don't let them know um be completely honest with them um if your feet are really really pretty or whatever just let them know be like oh well, yeah my feet are nice this and that if they want to hustle you, do not give in. Don't be, no seas una pendeja, ponte las pilas porque pendeja no me sirves. Um, if you guys do need any type of help in regards to selling them or you guys don't know or if it's not popping or whatever, it can take up to a month to two months in order for a business to pick up because you do need to build your profile. You do need to build your your clientele at the same time not everyone's going to trust you just like you think you're going to be hustled they feel the same way um you do need to constantly be active so the more active they see you on social media the more active they see you on twitter the more active they see you anywhere it's gonna it's gonna honestly pay off in the long run um you do have to be super nice to them most of the time they're my 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 clients are normally really really cool never had a problem with them i've had once uno que otro cabron that are horrible i've had people dm me being like did you have anything better to do this and that? Who has, I mean, making money or doing nothing? I'd prefer to make money. Who doesn't, you know? Um, the most I have sold in a month would be probably up to, let me think. Let me think. On a monthly basis, if I'm super, super committed to it, um, I do make up to probably, my average is $1,000 a month just on foot pics. Um, $1,000 a month, if I'm super, super committed to it, and it's something that I am going to be constantly doing that month for whatever reason, I can go up to probably five, six grand I have made a little bit over that um, thanks to like not selling foot pics or whatever. I am totally debt free now, which is great. Honestly, um, I have 
I am thinking about starting to um, sell like underwear or whatever for like 100, 150 a pop, but not using any website. I know that there is websites out there that it's like panty something or whatever. I do not promote them. You could honestly do this shit by yourself. You don't need anybody promoting your own things or getting commission off of your work, you know? So um, I do highly recommend for you to get Twitter. I do really highly recommend for you to be active on it. Don't expect for it to blow up one way, one um, one day to another because it's not going to happen. Um, I do recommend for you guys to be just not, not like just just manifest it, you know, be like, it's going to happen. I'm going to be good. I'm going to make it happen. And it is going to happen if you want to make it happen. Other than that, um, other than that, if you guys have any other questions, concerns, or whatnot, please let me know so I could go ahead and help you guys with whatever it is you guys need. At the end of the day, we're here to make our bag, you know? And however you make it, more power to you. Uh, I, um, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I don't think it's anything bad. I think it's smart. Um, I used to donate all my shoes. I used to, you know, give them away. I used to throw them out. But then I was like, damn, dude, why don't I try to, like, make money off of this? And I did. I did. I, I sold out. Uh. The last time I actually put it on my Instagram, I did it like at night and um, I got a whole bunch of responses, like responses from Instagram because if you put them on your DMs or whatever, I don't think my, my page is private. So because it's not private, like people could see it or whatever and um, guys do hit me up through there as well, like through my DMs, but it's never been anything creepy, nothing crazy i've never been stalked thankfully um but you do need to work at it just like they're doing any other job you know and you do need to be super constant with it so you really 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 do need to be trying um it took me about two months in order for me to like fully blow up when it comes to selling foot pics. Other than that, now, thankfully, I don't struggle with it. If I post something, I know that it's going to get sold. Um, I don't normally ever pay for my manicures. I mean, my nails or my feet. Um, I haven't wanted to get them done. So that's the only reason why I don't have them done. Uh, other than that, if you know anybody who's a nail lady or if you're a nail lady you know what if you're not a nail lady let me know to see if I could get you on game you know what I mean so we could like link up or I don't know maybe I'm gonna start a little business doing foot pics and like you know having this lady do people's nails you know, or whatever, you know, kind of thing. But I'll, I'll figure it out. If you're somebody who sell, who buys foot pics and you're, and, and there's some um advice that you would not only like to give me, but any ladies or guys that are watching this, please hit me up, slide into my DMs. Um, I think I'm like super easy to find. Uh, and that way we could all link up or <laughs> have um, a Zoom meeting and we could all like start some type of revolution. You know what I mean? But other than that, let me just finish the, this makeup look so you guys could be on your way. I could be on my way and that's it. You guys, I was low-key gonna film this with my laptop, but I can't find my charger.
Um, I filmed this video like four times porque my kid kept coming out asking for one thing or another and whatnot. Get ready with me, hashtag tea style. Aunque sea de arreglarme mi pelo poquito, ¿no? Y no me vea tan, tan horrenda. A ver, es mi familia, ¿no? Les da vergüenza de lo que hago. Pero aunque sea, estoy haciendo algo con mi vida, ¿no? And this is it. This is my makeup of the day.